Hello, today we're going to start by doing some airline food. And the first thing to make it more realistic is we need a tray for the airline. So what I've got here is a cereal box container. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two ways to actually make the, air, the tray or the basis for the tray. First one is, is we're going to measure from the fold that's along the bottom of the box, five centimeters up and mark a line on both sides. Then we're going to draw a line across and we're going to cut along that line. Now, the next part we're going to do is actually recreate the box as it was before. And we'll actually put some, we can actually put some sticky tape along here to hold the box. The other part we can actually do is we've got the writing on the outside, but if you haven't got a box that's quite the right shape, what we'll do, for instance, is kind of cut this box open okay and then we're actually going to draw a template along here which I'll come back with in a minute right, so now we're back at the cardboard again and you can see here what I've done is I've measured out eight centimeters so five centimeters from the bottom across the cardboard, draw a line across all the way. I've then put a marker in from eight centimeters from the end, then 16 centimeters, then eight centimeters, then 16 centimeters, and then 1.5. I then measured half of this distance, which would be two and a half centimeters, and measured three centimeters, slightly larger, from this line out, and again, in a couple of spots, and drew a line right across, so it's then parallel. I then, Drew continued this line here that we measured out earlier all the way through and then put an angle on each line as well which will be the flaps for underneath. After we've done that I'm then going to cut all this out and this little piece down the end here is to complete the box as well which hopefully you can see. Okay you can see now that I've actually cut the strip out and I haven't actually cut out these shaded sections yet because what I actually want to do is along these parts here, this long line here, and these smaller lines that are coming up here, we actually want to score the cardboard. So grab a ruler, put it along the line, using the back of the scissors, put some pressure on it and just run it along the cardboard. What this will actually do is allow you to easily fold it later on. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly do all these lines. Now that we've actually scored it, what I'm actually going to do is now cut out, very carefully watching your fingers, the shaded areas that we did. Now make sure you don't cut too deep into the cardboard and only cut your V sections out. All right, now that we've actually scored and cut all of these out, it's just a matter of folding. Now you'll actually find this will actually fold really easily because of what we actually did with the score. So you look straight away. Then we fold this way, we fold this way, this way, and that way, okay? And there's my first mistake that I made, but it doesn't matter, we can fix that. So what we'd then do on this one is we'd actually put a bit of sticky tape along here, sticky tape the bottom pieces in there, and then we'll actually cover it later on with aluminium foil. So the mistake I actually did is this distance from here to here should actually be 
half the distance and a little bit more of this side. So we, that's eight centimeters. So this flap here should have been at least 4.5 centimeters. But not to worry, because I've got the other box right here. Okay, if you did make the same mistake I made by leaving a hole in the bottom of the box, it's quite simple to fix. Just get another bit of cardboard, cut it to shape, and just push it in there gently, and then you've actually got a box that's now complete. All right, so here's the flap that I've, the divider I made. See, I've scored the sides down there, bent them in. We just now then get a little bit of sticky tape, put it on the flaps as such. Okay, line it up where we want it and just push it in the sides there. And I'll do this on both of them so you can see how it actually looks. And then the next phase we're going to do after this is we'll need some aluminium foil. There we go, some aluminium foil and some glad wrap. So our trays are almost complete. Okay, now that we've finished that side, what we're going to do is put some glad wrap in this side because that's our side that's either going to hold our salad or biscuits or whatever you want to put in there and just fold it round, turn it over, put some sticky tape in there to hold it in place. Oops. And just some sticky tape again on the side. And some sticky tape down on this side and then on the other side what we're going to do is grab some foil and go shiny side up and just try and work it carefully in this component So lifting it up and then pushing it very gently in the corners if you're if you forceful it will tear the up and then just push it over the side and there we have our airline tray now if you want you can actually turn it over there as well and also apply some sticky tape down on the sides now I'm sure you guys can actually do a much better job that I've done the next step is we're going to show you how to make the toasted sandwiches So first you wash your hands, make sure you include your thumbs, then you get the ingredients. Ham, cheese, bread, butter and a plastic spatula. Make sure it's not metal, otherwise the metal will burn when you put it in the frying pan. It'll scratch a frying pan. Yeah. So, first you get a bit of butter and then you butter it on. Next step is grab your ingredients, which mine is just going to be ham and cheese today. If you want, you can put it on once, or if you want, you can put it on twice. If you're doing the um, jam one I reckon just do it really lightly on the bread because you don't want too much jam on when you're going to cook it. I'm going to put two, two more slices on the ham. If you don't want yours to be cooked um you can you just don't you copy me right now but you just don't copy me the next step. Don't watch the next video because we're going to cook it in the next video. Put your sandwich together. Light, light your stove on a medium heat. Put your frying pan over the fire that you've lit. Then get a bit of butter on your knife 
and wipe it on the frying pan on the edge then get your spatula and wipe it across the bottom of the frying pan so the next step is get your sandwich and put it in the frying pan just be careful because it's going to be really hot put it the edge on don't touch your fingers and then you can let go of it be careful don't burn your hand and then we wait and then we wait Okay, so once it's cooked on both sides, put it onto the breadboard and what we're going to do is cut it diagonally because that's how airline food actually serve up toasties as well. So what Rubes is doing there is cutting through the crust first and then she's then cutting through the rest of the sandwich. Okay, then once it's cut through, put it in there and therefore we have our airline food all ready to serve. There's a couple of alternatives. If you don't like ham and cheese, you can do cheese and tomato, ham, cheese and tomato. Well, my favourite when I was a young kid is strawberry jam and cheese, then with a bit of tomato sauce on the side.